In a recent mock NATO battle in Europe, using only tactical nuclear weapons and described as a limited engagement, it was estimated that over two million non-combatants would have been fatally or seriously injured. I don't think there's anything to worry about. No, there won't be a war. I'm quite convinced of that. During a recent meeting of the Ecumenical Council at the Vatican, a bishop told the press that he was sure our nuclear weapons will be used with wisdom. At seven-tenths of a millisecond after the explosion, and at a distance of 60 miles, the light from the fireball of a single megaton thermonuclear device is 30 times brighter than the midday sun. I believe that we live in a system of necessary law and order. And I still believe in the war of the just. Within this car, a family is burning alive. Technically and intellectually, we are living in an atomic age. Emotionally, we are still living in the Stone Age. The Aztecs on their feast days would sacrifice 20,000 men to their gods in the belief that this would keep the universe on its proper course. We feel superior to them. We've got a bath full of water that hasn't been changed now for five days. It's all the water we've got. We have to drink from it and have to cook with it and wash with it. It was a title there all wrong. Call this defense. It's been estimated that a nuclear attack on Britain using approximately 160 single megaton missiles would immediately kill or seriously wound between one third and one half of her entire population. It would destroy from 50 to 80 percent of all her main food production and storage facilities and from 50 to 80 percent of the power plants needed to run them. Such an attack using weapons of one megaton could be described as minimal because it's now more than possible that missile warheads or free-falling bombs of between five to ten times that power would be used instead. This is nuclear war. <laughs>